To avoid fainting, keep repeating. It is on the movie. On the movie. I said, don't you blame the movies. Movies don't create psychos. Movies make psychos more creative. We have such sights to show you. On the movie. Tell me about yourself and what are we doing? You want my name? My name is Zach. You've known me for 20 years, Mikey. I rented an RV. I want to find the most extreme haunted house in the world. What is an extreme haunt? I don't understand how far, like how far they, you really can go on without hurting somebody. Hey, 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 brother. We're back, and probably nobody's watching the live stream because we didn't tell nobody we were live streaming. Didn't tell a single soul. Uh, we. <laughs> I didn't know if it was actually going to happen today, to be honest. Like, I know we talked about it being today, but also, yeah, well, I thought you might be tired. No, I am really tired, but I, I'm not going to let it go any further than not ditting it yeah. before. <laughs> not, not ditting it. Not ditting it. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, I think this one will be pretty cut and dry. It's um, pretty bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, I mean... Honestly, yeah. Well, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll get. What to are it. we? So we're doing two movies. The uh, another sequel episode. I don't even know why we keep doing this. <laughs> well, they were free, and I was like, all right. Uh, and they have like something to do with each other, and it's August, so basically, to me, that's Halloween already. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, fu- like, yeah. I'm in like fucking pumpkin mode right now. I'm the pumpkin. The yeah. Pumpkin. Uh, uh, we did the houses. <laughs> October belt one and two. Yeah. And we did something new this week where we um, did a live stream uh, movie viewing. Yeah. And we had some guests, you know, come in with us. So we had Marcus. Some friends, if you will. Marcus, uh, he's cool as hell. And uh, Taylor, they came through and that was fun. It was nice. We were all talking shit and having a good time. Well, yeah. I slowly got intoxicated. Yeah, same. I was drinking some uh, Bud Light seltzer. <laughs> Not a sponsor. Uh, we we uh, do encourage uh, for whenever we do it again. You know, if you if you sign up on our Facebook page, if you sign up on our uh, Instagram, uh, or you shoot us an email. However, you find out that we're doing it, please do it. It's fun. We almost had Navek there as well. Yeah, but his uh, equipment fucking sucks, so he had to like not be in it. Is that what he said? Did you ask him later? He told me that while it was happening. Oh, okay. Remember, like you couldn't see him. I just thought he had no webcam or something. His webcam was broken, mm. and then his headphones were broken. <laughs> really? Okay. Okay. <laughs> well, um, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. Well, but point being. Um, it's a really great way to kind of interact with us, uh, to watch a free movie. Um, don't tell the movie studios. I don't think what we're doing is necessarily above the board, but but it's fine. We're, we're not charging anybody, so it's not like right. we're like profiting profiting off of it. And the movie yet. was free anyway, so. And the movie was free. Yeah, we had, we had to, they had our guests had to sit there and uh, listen to the ads. Oh with, yeah, right with us because I forgot to be had ads. So to be be adding. Uh, <laughs> yeah, man. So yeah. Uh, besides that, that was really fucking fun. Uh, that was cool. Our audio probably will sound like shit when we share the the video. Up. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, well, that's another thing. So I think we should we should probably maybe this is the best way to get this out there to the widest audience. Um, and correct, stop me at any point if I'm wrong about the, the assumption of this. But if you're joining in with us and watching these videos, are you you're then a part of our reaction video that happens. A few days afterwards, is yeah. that correct? Yeah. Right. Yep. Um, so now I don't want that to like deter anybody. We're we're only taking funny clips off the video. Uh, if you know jump scares, whatever. Yeah, like screaming and shit. If you say something funny. Yeah. Um, we're not gonna you know make you look bad, uh, unless you don't want to look like somebody who gets scared. Uh, then I guess you then would look bad. You but- also have the option of like tuning in and not having your webcam or your mic on. 
and just watching and watching us. That's true. That's very. That's a very good point. Thank you. Yeah, that exactly. Yeah, if you, yeah, if you just want to watch a movie with some uh, silly light commentary, because we're not. It's not like we're doing the podcast over the movie, right? We're just. We're yeah. just. Yeah, and a lot of times we watch movies we haven't seen before. So we're all like, what? So if you have seen the movie, don't be talking about shit that's going to happen. That is another good point. It didn't, <laughs> it didn't happen too much um, last time we did it. But I right before we started watching the, the movie, I was afraid that, ooh, if we get a really talkative audience, I'm not going to be able to pay attention to the movie. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I was like, bro, I thought me and Marcus were just going to be talking shit to each other. I was like, uh-oh, Dakota's going to get pissed. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I didn't. I didn't. And and so, I don't know. I, 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 listen, I don't want to overcomplicate what we're trying to talk about here. We watch a movie on Zoom. You hang out with us. You laugh. You cry. You get scared. You shit your pants. You shit your pants. You don't have a very long conversation over the movie. Yeah. <laughs> and and it's awesome. And you get to be on YouTube. Uh, you get to be a part of the action. Yeah, so. you get to be a star. You a star, baby. You get to be as famous as us. Basically, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um. Okay, I think that kind of gets all of that out of the way. Mm. Um. Yeah, just... Like I said at the beginning, just find us on on the socials, and uh, you can be a part of that fun. Karina, what are your first thoughts about this movie? Okay, so it is a found footage film, which is just like what we've been doing. It must be the found footage. Patrol. Patrol. (laughs) Um, So basically, uh, it's a group of, I don't even know, I think the biggest thing we had with this movie is like, who the fuck are these people? What are the names? And why do we care who they are? Like, we could not remember nobody's name throughout the whole movie. Throughout the whole movie. Like... Uh, there's a girl, there's a big fat guy with a beard, there's... Jeff. The name of Jeff, and I don't remember who he is, I just know there was a guy named Jeff. And there's Short like, hair, I think he wore a beanie. Oh, okay. And then there's like three other guys. And so they go in an RV, mm-hmm. and they're like, we're gonna go to all the haunted houses and find the biggest haunted house that there is. And so it's just them. This part of the movie I do like because it's just like watching like fucking like amusement walkthroughs. And I'm pretty sure that the the footage is from actual um, haunted houses. Is that yet to be verified? I'm pretty sure it is. I'm okay. just going to go ahead and say it is. Cause it, it, would, it would have to be. The like, movie is so low budget. Yeah. They wouldn't have built seven different amusement parks, right? Right, you're like haunted houses or whatever. Yeah. But they're all pretty standard, you know. You got your fucking clowns with a chainsaw. I mean, they were decent, you know, like everything. Demons with a chainsaw. Girls in nightgowns. With a chainsaw. With a chainsaw. <laughs> you know, a uh, devil with a chainsaw. And so they are looking for like this the most extreme one the blue skeleton. skeleton so uh they go to this one haunted house and they like piss the actors off because they like get on the roof and like ch- like yell some shit with a megaphone yeah uh, what was that about i don't know uh, but apparently it pissed off a clown with a chainsaw so he so then they're like, you got to give us that tape. And he's like, fuck you. And then they run away. Oh, also during that scene, do you remember the uh, one of them go, goes to take a pee pee and and then like oh, they, a bloody bunny is like. Oh, yeah. It's like chasing him. Yeah. That was yeah. Pretty cool. That was cool. Yeah, so that's, that's where like the drama should have commenced in the film. And it sort of does. Yeah. Right. I mean, th- we got, mm, I'd say, 45, 50 minutes into this movie before what we just talked about happened, which is, yeah. again, so. I, like, I don't, I, if you knew exactly what this movie was going in, it might make more sense, but it doesn't follow a, like, classic, like, narrative uh, story arc you know it doesn't it doesn't climax really Uh, i I feel like they had the idea to be like we have an rv we have cameras we have our group of friends who are probably actors or you know in the music in the film trade or whatever in some capacity it's halloween 
let's film all these haunted houses and then build a story around it. That's what it feels like this movie is like. It's like a fun project, basically. So, like, the story fucking sucks. Like, the actual, like... It would be a better <laughs> document documentary. Yeah, like, I would have... <laughs> yeah, I would have rather had it been, like, um, like, five people in an RV and there was, like, no... You two brothers. Two brothers. Like, there was, like, no, uh, I don't know, plot. It's just, like, we're going to go to all the haunted... And that would have been entertaining. It, it, it is city. found footage in its truest form. Like, it feels like a documentary, and then they also filmed these scenes with, like, some mildly scary things were happening also. And... Uh, so, okay. All right. So they piss these people off. And slowly, these haunt workers or whomever, maybe they're crazy people, we don't really know, Yeah, start like following them as they go haunt to haunt to haunt. Because they're going like all across the country. And, and I think the coolest part, and it's even in the trailer, is like you have like this one little like girl haunt worker. <laughs> And she like walks on the bus and she has like this like porcelain yeah, doll. Yeah, she she's mask. like the girl that's like on the cover. It's pretty it's a pretty cool um costume. It is, it is. And oh yeah, here, maybe I, I might be able to to show. There she there is. There she is. There she is. Star she blow. Yeah. Um, and um she just like <laughs> She just kind of looks around at everyone. She ends up in the RV. They're like, can we help you, miss? Like, like why would you, you put okay? that person in the fucking car, dude? I don't know. I don't know. For the footy. For the good footage. Yeah. And then she's just like... <laughs> or like, you know, makes some sort of like she spooky like noise She screams like that. and then everyone's like, what the fuck? Who the fuck is this? And then this is where it gets fucking dumb. Like, they start getting stalked by this group of crazy people from the hot... And they'll be, like, in one state, and then they'll be there, too. So then they, like, park their RV, and then they, like, open up the shades at their, like... Wait, was this the first one that this happens? Yes. Okay. With the masks? Well, they open up the shades, and they're, like, not in the... That is... Spoiler alert, that's in the second Oh, shit. (laughs) What the fuck? How did this one end? So, okay, uh, there is... (laughs) You know, there is a lot of creative use with pulling up the RV shades Uh, in this one. They, oh, you know what? No, no, no. Okay. I, I take it. <laughs> we don't this, fucking No, know. I know. I know. I did also get it confused. So, okay. There is this scene where they, like, turn the lights on to the camper, and there's, like, 75 haunt workers, like, standing in oh, front yeah. of, of the RV. And that does happen in this one, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're like, oh, my God, what the fuck? And I think it. That might be right around the same time that we find this little girl, this little mini haunt worker, this this mini haunt mini <laughs> mini haunt worker. Uh, we find her. That's when we find her in the RV, or she comes into the she RV. comes into the RV. Yeah, no, they don't find. They like see her in front of the RV, and then she comes in, and then she screams, and then I think that's when you see all the haunt workers out, out mm-hmm. front. So, um. Then they just keep, you know, there's, it's weird. There's this like dichotomy that they have this like two sided thing where they'll either be really scared of these haunt workers or completely just going on to the next haunt, having the time of their life. Right. And at any time they could just go home. The, at money, many times they should be going <laughs> home. Yeah. They should be going home all of the time. <laughs> Why don't they? Karina. Uh, because they're dumb. There really is no reason. That's like, that was like the thing. Like, a lot of these movies, it's like horrible things happen, and then they're like, oh, that didn't happen. Next. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We're, you know, or maybe in like a maybe better constructed horror film, they would, like, their RV would be busted, so they can't leave, or... Or one of them is crazy, and he needs to finish the film, but they don't do any of that no, shit, you know? Like, none of that. Well, sort of. Actually, that is kind of what happens. Like, they're like, 
we need to finish the trip, even though. But like, why? Like, I could understand if it was like, let's say, the big fat guy. He's like, "This is my fucking project. <laughs> I spent my life savings buying this stupid RV. We're not going back." And then he like shoves Jeff into the fucking uh, cabinet. You know, that would be good. That's kind of a la um 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 um. um, um uh, oh, it's our favorite movie. The gallop. Not the gallop. I know that's <laughs> another favorite. No, the the hap the cabining. The cab. I forgot about the cabining, yeah, dude. The- Bo, Bo Keister. Because <laughs> uh, I think in that you have this a, sa- a similar scenario to what you're describing, where um, the you know the writer goes crazy and starts like you know fantasizing about the murders and, and yeah. what have you. Um, but we don't really have any of that. We just have a bunch of dum dums going across the country, getting it's haunted. stalked and haunted. And I guess that's what they wanted all along. There was that fun scene though, um, in the uh, in the bar, the D and D bar, which I said it in the live stream. I don't know if it'll make the reaction cut, but it it's called the D and D lounge or the D and D bar. And I'm like, is this, what is the dungeons and dragons element coming in? Like, when are they going to be like throwing dice? (laughs) And none of that happened. Um, but anyway, in that bar, um, we find a couple, I don't know if they're haunt workers. I think they might be, but they like corner our female lead. Yeah. They like are like rapey to her in the bathroom. They are. And they should have went home then again, then like, your uh, sister slash friend uh, just almost got sexually assaulted in a bathroom. Go home. Like, who cares if no haunted shit is happening? That's when you go home. I mean, like, I get they're filming a doc or whatever, but, like, dude, just go to one or two haunted houses, bro. And then just like film the rest like at home. Like <laughs> that's enough. I never even thought about this. All right, here. Riddle me this. They're making a documentary, right? Right. Do they need extensive footage from inside every one of these haunted houses? Couldn't they just like go to a couple of them and then like the rest of the footage would be like B roll of them back or it wouldn't even be, it'd be the A roll. They'd be like in the studio or wherever the fuck. Being like, and then this haunted house did this, and blah, 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 blah. Like, who would watch a movie, we did, uh, <laughs> where, where it's just, dude, I'm playing myself saying this, but who would watch a movie where it's just people walking through haunted houses? Yeah, at the most, it would be like a 25 to 30 minute YouTube video of, mm. you know, like... Like, who's, yeah, like, who, who's, the, and it's like, they talk to some people, but it's just like, what, they uh, Who was this movie made for? Who was this movie made for? Why are they making the movie? Like, there's so much shit going unanswered. Yeah, like, I want the answers now. Like, the, the concept is cool. Like, yeah, let's, like, go film a scary movie in ha- real haunted houses, but... You need a better story because haunted houses aren't even that scary, bro. So, um, well, hopefully we'll have some answers um, when we move on to the second uh, film. But before we do that, Karina, let me just get your on-the-record opinion. Would you recommend this film to anyone else? Uh, this first one, the first one. The first one? I mean... It's free <laughs> on Tubi, so why not? You know, let me tell you what's also free. Falling on the concrete and scraping your knees, that's free to do as well. So, um, <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, here's my point. Uh, well, so you're saying it's free, maybe you go watch it. Is that what you're saying? If you want to watch it, uh, go ahead. I don't fucking no, don't fucking watch it. I'm sorry. Uh, okay. I'm trying to be nice. This movie fucking sucked. Oh god, I can't. 
I was like so agitated the whole time. Uh huh. I just like I don't know. This is one of those movies where I'm like I can't wait till it's like out of my brain because it's just like uh-huh. taking up space for other shit that could be more important. Um. So I will. Yes, and you are very right that this movie just is a hog of of memory, but. <clears throat> Um, I will say also maybe don't watch it. Uh, you could definitely tune into our YouTube compilation that will have, uh, will have dropped uh, about a. Mm, I'll probably just drop it on the same day this drops, so it should be up on YouTube now. If you're listening to this podcast, you can go onto our YouTube, and I barely even saw what happened. Uh, you can go up onto our YouTube and watch the reaction, which will show you a very a glimpse into what the film looks like. Etc. 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 My headphones fell off. All right, That's let's take a quick pause and then we'll switch to our next. Film. Okay. Get out of the hole. Get out of the hole now. Okay, and we're back. Um, you know, oh, just. If you're watching the live stream, maybe you are. I love what they've done here. <laughs> From the producers of Insidious and Paranormal Activity. Like, bruh. They're like, don't compare the shit, please. Well, maybe Paranormal Activity, but... Yeah, Insidious, I don't know, man. Neither of, these, hey. no, neither of those movies are this movie. Is it... R R R L J that made the made those I thought those were Bloomhouse films. What the other ones? Insidious and Paranormal. Activity. No, I don't think so. You're dumb. You're dumb. Uh, this one was better. This one had drones. Yeah, I was about to say it's all drone. Like any opportunity they had to use a drone, they used a drone, which was in Blair Witch from the other. Yes, we, we we talked about. Um, uh, we are talking about the house's October built dos dos the Octobering. I like this one a lot better. If you're gonna watch one, just watch this one because it's like more shit happens. They obviously had like a bigger budget. There's still some mm-hmm. haunts, but it's not so much just like 45 minutes of fun house walkthroughs. It's edited better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This one's better, and they kind of already tell you what happened in the first one. Uh, cause that last one, the first one ends with them all being, uh, oh yeah, no spoiler. <sighs> okay, well, all right, hold on. We Here's should the thing. spoil the first if, one, it sucks. If we, if you see the first one without it being spoiled, and then you get to the end of the first one, you will punch us both in the face. If you start with the second one, never watch the first one, mm-hmm. and we spoil the first one, I think you're in a better spot, right? Yeah, okay. like I'm not going to spoil the second one. I'm just going to say what happened at the end of the first one, which they all get like, they, they all get captured by the mask people and they mm-hmm. get buried in coffins. Yeah. And put them in a coffin, put them in a coffin. So in this one, they're obviously in, in the movie ends and you think they're all dead. Dead. Yeah. So in this one, uh, psych, they're not in coffins anymore. And they are going on the same trip again the next Halloween. Yeah. Uh, so that's pretty dumb. But who's that hot dog eating guy? He's in the movie. Uh, Kobayashi. Yeah, he makes an appearance. Yeah, there's an entire scene at uh, like the St. Paul, St. Paul Ho- Oktoberfest, I think, or something like that. That whole scene is pretty fun. Uh, it made us reminiscent about um, being able to. Go to Halloween. Be places. Yeah. <laughs> go to Halloween. <laughs> go to Halloween. I just want to go to Halloween so bad. I want to go to Halloween Town and talk to that skeleton taxi driver. So oh, bad. yeah. I got, 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 got. He's yeah, the like, best. <laughs> Billy, Willie, something Maybe like we that. should do that movie next. <gasps> Let's just spend the next like 10 minutes talking about movies that we should have watched. <laughs> <laughs> Could we do... Um, we should do... A Halloween Town suite where we do Halloween Town, Halloween Town 2, Calabar's Revenge, and uh, Halloween Town. Probably just those two, honestly. How I many mean, Halloween Towns are there? Um, I will check. I believe there are three. Okay. I'll, I'm in it for the skeleton taxi driver that you're very fond of. Uh, what's another one? I watched Cinem- uh, Phantom of the Cineplex not too long ago. That was fun. 
uh, with uh, Mickey Rourke or, yeah. or Mickey Rooney. Uh, Mickey Rooney. Mickey Rourke. <laughs> <laughs> I do that a lot. Mickey Rourke. Um, Can you imagine? No. <laughs> okay, so there's there are four. Okay. Uh, Halloween Town Two, Calabar's Revenge, Halloween Town High. Ooh. And then 2006's Return to Halloween Town. Okay, okay. Um, I'd like to double check to see if there are any more. Um, Debbie Reynolds was so great in this movie. Uh, this is not what the episode is about. So you will find more information about <laughs> Halloween Town on that episode. On that Halloween Town. Dude, it's because we just hated these movies so bad that it's just like, right now it's like painful for me. Uh, <laughs> to talk about like yeah uh we have approximately 26 more minutes fuck <laughs> um okay here let's let's spend here let's spend about five ten more minutes talking about this movie okay. and then i think there we have some backup okay. material to talk about for this week okay cool um so we mentioned this that this movie is Slightly larger budget, better cameras, um, drones, um, all of this. And the main the main element of this film is that the first one was all set up by Blue Skeleton or whomever. Mm-hmm. Like I think they said Blue Skeleton, right? And now the second one, they're pretty much the whole movie is them trying to convince the sister character, um, I should really just know at least one character's name. Betty. I don't know her fucking name. Brandy. Brandy. I was close. (laughs) Oh, yeah. It's Brandy, Zach, Mikey, Bobby, and Jeff. (laughs) Jeff. So um, the whole time, the entire, the the entirety of this movie is like, all right, Brandy, all right, this next haunted house is not going to be that scary. It'll be okay. It'll be all right. And she's like, no, I, I was in a coffin. You can't make me go. And then like. And then she does anyway. She does, and she keeps going, and then she'll say, like, Ah, oh, that's the last haunted house I'll ever fucking go into. Two then, hours later. And then they're like, okay, fine, guys. You guys got me to get to the other haunted house. And then it's just like a whole movie of that. Yeah. <laughs> and we see some recurring characters. There's a, This part was cool, but never had much of a payoff. But, um... There's a bunch of scenes throughout the whole movie where you see here, let me pull the it porcelain up. girl. Yeah, just as a reminder. Oh, let me pull it up on here. I don't. Can they see that? Can they see what I did? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if they can. Anyhow, um, where you'll you'll see her like it's like a Where's Waldo. She'll be like somewhere randomly in the shot, like in a window or like in a crowd, and like. And there's no. It's cool because there's no music cues for it. She's just there. Like, yeah. the, there's no, like, boom, you know? Yeah, like, I stuff. feel like the first couple times, I didn't even notice her. You were like, oh, my God, that bitch is right there. Like, and I'd be like, oh, okay. But, like, did you notice that her mask was significantly shittier than in the first one? Yeah, I did. It looked, like, way more, like, rubbery. It looked like the one that they sell at the costume store. It, no. Yeah, like like they made the movie, and then this is the replica. Like this is like, oh, you can be a porcelain girl for Halloween, and that's right. what they use for this film. Because they like lost the original mask, or like the person who played porcelain girl in the first one like stole it. Her head got too big. <laughs> well, maybe, may actually, actually, yeah, probably because she's like a pretty small person. In the first one that was twenty fourteen. This movie was made in twenty seventeen. If it's the same actress, her head. Definitely got bigger. How does your head get bigger in like three years? If you're if you're like eleven to eleven to fourteen, puberty baby. I don't think that girl was eleven years old, man. I'm just child labor laws, child growth laws. (laughs) That's what I didn't. That didn't happen to me. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) maybe. Hey, maybe I'm just trying to help. You know what happened last time they had child actors in a horror movie? No. They died. What? Well, that wasn't the last time. There's always child actors, but they had they can only like be in a movie until like 
midnight or some shit like that. Oh yeah, I know child. Yeah, I've hey, I've worked with children on sets. It's quite annoying. <laughs> the parents are everywhere, and the the yeah, they have very limited hours. Yeah, I mean it's hey, it's for the best. But. Well, yeah, because that's how two kids fucking died. You ever uh, seen the Twilight Zone movie from the eighties? Kids died on that movie? Yeah. Tell me tell me more. I'll tell, tell you about more. a good horror movie with some fucked up shit besides this piece of shit that we decided to talk about. Um, so I think it was uh, Toby Hooper, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the director of Chex's Chainsaw. Yeah. Chex's Chainsaw. I'm pretty sure it was him. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But. So you're about to slander Toby Hooper. Oh, no. This happened. Uh, I'm just saying the facts. I'm not l- saying. Lay him out. So. They were, like, trying to film this, like, Vietnam scene with a helicopter in the water. And the scene requires, like, this actor, I don't remember his name, carrying, like, two Vietnamese kids through the th- through the water. So the scene needed to be filmed at, like, 2 o'clock in the morning or some shit. So Definitely could have done it at 10 p.m. Right. Also. So then they, like... Uh, hired these kids illegally and the parents were like on set it was just like I think they were like two cambodian kids who like lived like by the fucking like studio lot so this is this is why toby hooper still has a career <laughs> they were an american <laughs> and uh so they have all these explosions and shit happening and all this stuff like simulating the vietnam war one of the explosions fucking went off too high and shot down the fucking helicopter out of the sky and the helicopter flew into the water and fucking cut the actor and the two kids in half listeners (laughs) is it just me or are you thinking about multiple scenes within tropic thunder (laughs) because i know i am (laughs) <laughs> and that's terrible. That's I was trying to feel. I'm like, what the fuck is he gonna say? That face you had. I was like, what the fuck? Listen, that's fucking crazy. Yeah, that's the ex- response I was trying to. I'm like, I just told you that a dude and two kids got chopped in half by. Oh, helicopter. the dude did too. Yes. Fuck. Both of he was holding them. He's carrying them. The helicopter fucking blew out the sky. Fucking uh, chopped the kids. Wait, how up. did it? Because they were sh- throwing explosions. Oh, right. Because it was That's the Vietnam terrible. War. And so then the fucking shit went up too high. Chopper comes down. To it. The kids' parents were standing right there. They saw their kids get fucking, like, uh, Darth Mauled in half. Like, and, the, and, uh, and, you, and, you, and what do you have to say? Oh, Tropic Thunder. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, Right. No, you know, I, I I do think every time I think about Vietnam, I think about Tropic Thunder. I'm not. Hey, listen, I'm not saying it was cool that this happened. <laughs> I'm just saying I'm like, never mind. You're picturing the set of Tropic Thunder. I'm, I'm picturing the set of Tropic yeah. Thunder. I'm picturing the I'm combining the scene where Ben Stiller has his arms <laughs> cut off at the beginning, <laughs> and with the scene where the little. A Vietnamese kid is running after him, and they blow the bridge up, and his body goes. <laughs> That movie's fucked, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so, child labor labor laws are very, very important. Yeah, and, no, um, for real. and exhibit A, B, and C, right yeah, there. Yeah, seriously. Um. So yeah, long story short, I'm pretty sure Porcelain Girl is not. She's wearing a different mask. A kid, and the mask is a shitty version of the mask. Yeah, it's a far cry from the original. Um. But it's probably the only dip in quality that we get in this movie. Um, Everything else is like better. It's better. Damn it, bro! I have to cut this out. <laughs> and then they yawn for three <laughs> days. So, so okay. Listen, all right. I think we we pretty much told you all we can tell you about this movie mm. without spoiling any more. Essentially, they're getting haunted by the same people, From but the stakes one. are higher. Yeah, and some and more the scary. Is better. Yeah, and uh, yeah, like I said, I recommend don't watch the first one. Fuck the first one, unless you re- really want to see it. Uh, but I feel like if you do watch the first one, watch it before you watch the second one, because you're just gonna be extra bored because the second one's better, and you're not really missing anything. 
Yeah, don't go back and watch the first. If you yeah, if you need to watch both, watch them in order. But or just skip to the second one. You'll yeah, be fine. Yeah. You're also you're gonna be like, this fucking sucks. Yeah. Um, but so we we are right, obviously we watched the first one with our friends on Zoom. You and I watched this the other day and we needed a palate cleanse. So I think without going maybe not going super far into those movies because maybe we'll do them in full. But do you want to like kind of talk about those uh, palate cleanses? Oh, uh, so if you want to watch a haunted house movie, my choice, something that's better. What what was this on? Shudder? Shitter. Shitter. Yeah. It was a, a movie called Haunt, which I had watched already before during uh, my quarantining time. And Dakota had also seen it. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. I didn't think I'd saw it, but I did. <laughs> uh, as I, I saw about 50, 60% of it because the, the ending was still interesting and yeah. new to me. So this movie is like what I thought this movie was going to be, Haunt. It's basically about a group of college kids and they go to a uh, haunt, a haunted Kid house, house <laughs> and uh, they actually get murdered and stuff and it's scary and there's like gore and there's kills and there's suspense it's still pretty corny and stuff it's yeah hey we're not saying it's a five star but it's but it's it what you hope this movie what be. this movie should have did yeah. so maybe we'll fucking like go more into depth with that one later i don't know yeah i also definitely positive t lutely have a, a recommendation for a haunted house movie um my recommendation is Hellfest uh, from like 2017, 2018, 2019. I'm just going to list years until I hit the right one. <laughs> um, Hellfest is a similar idea. Okay, so with Haunt, you got these like kids driving a car around looking for a haunted house and like a sign appears. And so like these four people are like the only one at the haunted house, right? Hellfest is kind of like the reverse of that where a group of kids go to... I think the place is called Hellfest. It's sort of like if Six Flags, it's sort of like Fright Fest, but like not like Six Flags with um, roller coasters. With, uh, yeah, well, well, how do I want to put it? Hellfest is if Six Flags was Hellfest all year round. You know, like it's built oh, to be scary okay. the whole time. It's not like, oh, we put spider webs up on the roller coaster. Now it's spooky. <laughs> um, and <laughs> and so but the, the, the point of why I even bring that up is that this movie has like a shitload of people. It's like a big, huge production. Um, but it gets down to the nitty gritty of like these people going to haunted house and then some gore, suspense, scariness um, ensues. That one I don't know. I'm actually... Let me check and see where that might be. Hellfest 2018. You could watch it if you have a premium subscription on Hulu. Um, oh, it's on Hulu? Well, it's like... I think you have to have like Cinemax. Or, oh. like, you know what I mean? Like those like add-ons or whatever. I don't think it's... Because I would have watched it. The night we watched mm. this, but can we just go back to Torrentine shit? Like it's ten years ago. Um, Quentin Torrentino. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I wish we could. Uh, I mean, I haven't tried. I mean, I bet you still could if you wanted to. Yeah. Um. So, all right. Here's the situation. I'm I'm pulling an audible. I'm here with you. We're real people. This whole show's not always scripted. <laughs> or is it ever? It's never scripted. It's never scripted. We're only, we're not near the hour mark. But I don't want to, like, put out bad content and have us just, like, make shit up for 20 <laughs> minutes. Like, yeah. let's, let me, if you don't mind, could I get your closing thoughts on Houses 2? Houses October built 2? Uh, yeah, no, like, honestly, it, it is kind of a bummer, because it's just so, there's nothing really to talk about, but I didn't, like, want to scrap this idea, because we had the live streaming, and we had people, you know, um, we, we, we already, yeah, we were invested already. Yeah, yeah, so, 
Uh, you, you know, sometimes this this happens, I guess. <laughs> but uh, uh I go guess, back to episodes like one through seven, and it's every one of those episodes. Yeah, <laughs> so I guess we just had. Also, we we're just yeah, whatever. No excuses, but whatever. Uh, um. Would I recommend it? Like I said, if for Halloween season, sure. But just watch the second one. Yeah. Um, yeah, without beating a dead horse, I agree with you, Karina. Watch the second <laughs> one. Watch our reaction video of the first one. Um, that is up on our YouTube channel. Uh, speaking of YouTube, um, I believe if you just go to YouTube, and I'm going to do this live. Double. It's creature. Uh, yep. If you go to YouTube and type in Double Screecher, you will find us, our YouTube, ch- I don't even think we have like a sp- specific YouTube, like YouTube.com slash blah, blah, blah. Um, yeah, head over to YouTube. Uh, you can always watch uh, the rebroadcasts of our live streams up on YouTube, um, as well as um, any other fun content we find to put on that Um Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash double screecher. You can follow us on Instagram at double screecher. Shoot us an email at uh, double, double s- screecher. Double screecher. <laughs> yeah, don't type in double screecher. <laughs> yeah, no, double screecher at gmail.com. Um, Karina, where can people find you and your personal life if you want to tell them about that uh you can find me on instagram at stab casket that's s-t-a-b casket like a casket for dead people and you can see uh the artwork and tattoos that i do yes it is very cool stuff you can follow me at little dot yellow dot dog little yellow dog with periods uh, I just, never mind. I'm not going to plug that. Um, uh, yeah, that's about it. You okay. can, uh, check out my, uh, Instagram and my band and, uh, all of my that. band, my band. If you type in little yellow dog, pretty much anywhere, you'll find my band and also some asshole who wrote a book with the same name. <laughs> Been dealing with that for like seven years. <laughs> um, but until then, see you later losers. <laughs> <laughs>